Hey guys, welcome back to Valheim, episode number two. Um, real quick, as we open up on this beautiful sunrise morning, um, I did want to just some, address some issues that I know I had with the last video. Um, a lot of sound issues just with uh, my voice being too loud, game being too quiet, keyboard clicking, mouse definitely clicking. Um, but hopefully... I have fixed those in this issue. If you see here, hopefully you can't hear all that clicking now. Um, but we'll see. Apologize for it. So as you can see, I took down our little hut that we had just quickly made, um, and I've kind of flattened out the land with the with the hoe here. Um, so the goal here is to just set up a little foundation, nothing too extravagant. Um, we've got a bunch of wood back here, and we're just going to build up a nice little base. So first thing first, I am going to craft a little bench here so we can do all the work we need to. Now, I haven't really planned this one out on. Just, we just need something simple but livable, something that can kind of be upgraded in the future. I know this is a really small spot right now, but it should, should increase. Got these chests over here. They're just holding my items while I uh, do all this building. Oops. Not the Minecraft button. Try to keep it all together. Cool. Yeah, so we did a little deforestation and then just uh, chopped up the land a little bit. It's obviously not extremely even, but this is a, kind of a hard tool to be messing with. Hoping for a little square, you know? This. This is all right. Okay, so anyway, um, let's uh, let's start building. Okay, we also just need to quickly get a roof over the workbench. Um, nothing spectacular. Just if I need to repair the hammer. Probably just grab all that wood. One part is going to be making it just even. Um, we'll use a foundation. We'll set up a little foundation to help us just make sure it's even and looks pretty good. Got this little shed out here. If I can get it to go on, right? Uh, whatever. That's not, that doesn't super matter. In fact, I might just need one little pole here. Something like that. Nope. Let's get one more. interesting um usually stuff like that works for me we will uh kind of make it look a little bit better add a little wall right there for no real reason other than to just have it i guess how about now nope oh shoot oh my goodness this looks awful and it's using a lot of wood. That's kind of the more important part here is how much wood is being used in this process. What? 
Okay, that's kind of crazy. Not sure what it needs then. Now, yeah, okay, whatever. Use a ton of wood to do that, but it's fine. Okay, so anyway, we've, we've got this here. Let's grab all our wood, at least as much as we can carry. I think we can get all. Yeah, we got almost all of it. There's still a little bit on the ground there. Okay, so, first thing first, we're gonna start building this out. So, obviously this is gonna be a bit of a long house. We're gonna start with just a little foundation. We're gonna make out of wood half walls. Four. And, uh, I don't want it, like, sitting up in the air. So let's go to the lowest end. Here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that should come up and over the entire floor, or, uh, ground here. What is that? One, two, three, four. Seven? Ish? Not really sure what I'm doing, why I'm counting. I just want to make sure it's all even all the way through. Well, I mean, like, it, uh, holds a roof. Okay. Mostly what I'm concerned about is trying to fix that roof. We're just a little too high. Maybe we can, let's just fix the ground here. Get up a little bit. You know, make it look like it's proper. Like that is way too high. Now that it matters too much, we're going to put flooring on this foundation, so. Just as long as it's underneath. Let's see. Cool. Okay. So, now that we've done that. Um, shoot, maybe we should have actually been building on evens instead of odds. Five and seven is what I did, but I think I need to go. Well, let's find out here. Um, so we kind of want to give us a, give ourselves a middle area. there and then we'll put on like some beams maybe it doesn't matter hopefully it doesn't matter hmm these are two meter, two, four, six, and then seven. No, it's like six and a half. That's weird, considering. Oh, it's because it's not the direct middle, right? You look at that, and now it's green, because that side's holding it up. I'm over here, this one's orange, but then when we put this one on it, it doesn't want to clip, actually. So we can toggle off the snapping options by hitting left shift. And we can put it wherever we want, which makes that green now. Pushes it up. And then we'll come over here and just do the same thing. These ones are already green. Nice. 
Okay, so now we've got a little um, centerpiece or foundation, I mean. We will just come in and put some flooring in. I think I want the floor this way. Oh, whoops. Might have been a little too big. How much wood do we have? We still have another 50 over here. be nice i'll have a little uh seaside view <coughs> sorry about that got it let's see okay everything's looking good except for that Okay, flooring done. Um, cool, cool. This is a nice little area. Gives us some room to just kind of be in and decorate a little bit so we get some of that comfort rating I was talking about last time. And like I said, we do need to repair our hammer. So, the shed is coming in use already, but we are basically out of wood already. Um, I just want to make like a little stair area uh porch just a stairs to get in i don't really want to do them straight on though i'd like to kind of come out to the side i feel like that'll look nice maybe this way you got to come in like through here so what we could do then is make a little beam two meters Four meters. Let's look at what stairs are like. So we want at this point. Hmm. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Um. No, no, because we'll do. We'll put flooring out here. Like this. And then we'll come in with stairs right here. And then, come back with that beam. A little diagonal one. Or, yeah. And we'll hold this up. This is a hard part too, is building underneath. Two. Probably one there just for making it look nicer. Um, and then probably put a pole here. Is this okay? Poles go up, beams go sideways. Something like this. Maybe a little high, but we'll see. Um, and then we'll put a door here. I think so. All right. Cool, and look at this. You can already see some discoloration. So what's going on there? Let's see if we hit repair. You can see the health of it. Slightly going down. Maybe you can't really tell, but... Oh, wait. So usually when it discolors like that, it means... Um, 
that it's that there's some weathering that's going on. You'll see it in the flooring if I leave it unsheltered. Alright, super out of wood. We have enough wood for... Uh, each wood wall takes two, then we have enough for... Uh, like, twelve? Already getting to nighttime again. All right, there it goes. All right, so we got to do some chopping now. Probably uh, speed this part up for you guys. See you in a second. Alright, um, cool, cool. So, I set down this fire because I accidentally got wet, and that uh, dries you off, like, real quickly. Um, but we got a ton of wood there, so let's go ahead and just keep on building. Let's finish this up. So, um, obviously I'm going to come back through, I'm going to put some windows in. In fact, we could probably do that now. I'd like a window facing the sea here. We'll do a little half wall to do that part. Back in with this. I'll we'll put another window on this side. Although truthfully, like, I might do some readjusting once I know what it looks like. A window to match there, but like, kind of opposite. Cool. So, we've got some protection now. Which is good. Uh, let's finish this up. Let's build another layer thing. I think so. Oh, man. This feels like it goes up real high, but the other option like a half wall I don't think that's the answer we also have to kind of plot where our chimney is going to go and I actually think it's going to go like right here because the floor is a little higher here at the very least we could raise it up let's try to do that raise ground this takes stone unfortunately then we can level from there, right? So. Didn't quite do what I wanted to do. Use up more stone. And we're out of stone. Okay, now can I pull this out? Something like that. Just a little lower. That'll work great. Okay. So we'll go ahead and move this fire. Here. Okay. Okay, cool. And then we'll build up a little chimney here. In fact, maybe we just do that. It might help me visualize everything else. So I'll do that. Build all this wood around it. Don't worry. It's not going to catch fire. Um, 
That needs to be a wall, but it's fine. We'll probably build one beside it as well. Like this. Kind of makes it look like it has a little bit more structure to the actual chimney. We'll put this over the top. I think we do want to go up to... That's a small window. So we'll probably do something like this. I don't like that that's off. could just put a beam through that looks not great maybe something like one of these Yeah, you know what? I'll have to figure that out. It looks, uh, I don't like that right now, but we will come back to it. I also want, let's, let's make a bed right now. Just to have it. Right over here by the window. Oh yeah, that's another thing is, this window is kind of unsafe. That'd be a better way to make windows. I'll have to figure that one out. If we do it like that, at least, like, yeah, it doesn't look really good, but now nothing can, like, jump through. That's the other option, doing it like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll figure out how to do windows. Do a little bit more testing with that. This one I'm not as worried about. Well, yeah, it should be. Got it. Yeah, they'll still. They always find a way over. Day four. So it took us two days to find this spot. I did it about a. Uh, about a night of prep work. Day of gathering resources, and here we are to day four. All right, so next, the roof, the dreaded, dreaded roof. Um, I'm gonna do this improperly, I just know it. I wish I could do roofs, roofs. but maybe I could do something like. This is going a little high. I did not mean to do the high one. Hopefully, I got all that wood. Six. Three rallies the creatures of the forest. Here we go. Alright, we're getting raided. Oh, by boars. Interestingly enough. Oh, no. Animals. I've never been raided on the first level. Usually I've defeated Ekthir by now. Sick shot. I should be zooming in for these shots. 
This would actually be great to be raided by boars because we can get leather scraps and stuff. Oh, how do you miss that? Kind of stinks that I can't get arrows back. And I should be using. I'm gonna be loving all these uh, leather scraps we're getting. Tell us about that. Oh, jeez. Monsters will lay siege to your. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, so I did not mean to do that, but I'm so sorry. Man, if we would have only get, gotten raided by deer, that would have been helpful. Or, you know, pieces of wood. Can you imagine? This doesn't feel right. I think it went good though. Hey, you remember when I said it wasn't the best builder? You can see it come to fruition here, but I'm gonna really push myself on this playthrough. I, I, I've never done something quite like this before. But you never know. Everything falls apart when you get to the roof, usually. For me. We don't have another stone, do we? Need five stone. Nothing in here. Oops. Nothing. No stone in here. I think so. Good to make sure though. Okay, so back to this. Um, short roof or better roof. Do a corner there. So we're going to skip those. The smoke has to go out somewhere. Do the corner piece. 26 degrees. Oh. What? We're out of wood again? Alright. Get ready for another time lapse, guys. Let's go. can chop two trees down at the same time it does reduce um, the amount of damage you do to the tree to each tree but yeah can be helpful in now. We'll put this corner in. We're going to have to get up there with some scaffolding onto the roof. What are we going to do that? 
let's just build some ladders for now. Oh, that didn't work out. Uh, it'll, it'll do. Okay. I hate ladders. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. You're supposed to be like climbing up them, but the way that he. Oh, you. Get out of here, man. Okay. Anyway, the way he kind of like shimmies up them. Ugh. I, <laughs> I used to use ladders um, to get in houses instead of stairs because it could just be used at like a finer angle. But I always get so annoyed trying to get into the house. Okay. Anyway. So what we want to do is build up So, put that there, I think, is here. I don't know if that makes any sense. Then, another half one. I don't know, I'm figuring it out. Do a wood pole. Might be too long. Oops. Okay, and then what we, so again, we need to cover this from, uh, like rain and stuff getting in, but we want the smoke to go out. So I think, what we're going to end up doing is something like this. Did I mess that up? Oops. Oh yeah, because that's a half wall. So this needs to be uh, You think I would have learned my lesson with these beams earlier? No, it didn't work before. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get rid of that wall. The smoke to go up and out. We do have the resting uh, now, so we can claim that bed, which is good. Uh, so anyway, so we want it to go up and out, so we want it to dip in the middle. It's a good thing that wood, wood doesn't burn. So if we want it to dip in the middle. Let's build this one up. Crossed it. And then build this. So the uh, the wood doesn't burn, but I sure do. I'm also getting smoked out too, you can see. The uh, my health kinda slowly going. Okay. Make another one. Let's see if this works like I want it to. Oh wait, I need a beam across the top. Okay. Oh. Then we just kind of cover it up. I mean, more or less, that should work. Like I said, like it just needs to be covered from the element. I don't really want to do that, but I want to do it across like this. And then in the middle there, we'll put one of these, I think. Yeah, that looks nice. And then I'll run back around. <laughs> Back around to the other side. Let's 
slip that in there. Okay, so yeah, that should send all the smoke out that way. Um, I'd like to kind of block that area too. It's just a little tall, I think. It's a little tall. Another one of those 45 degree angle walls. Oops. Yeah. I could eat another pipe. Okay. All right. Cool. Little uh, little smokestack comes out the top here. All blocked on that side. I already forgot how it looks on. Okay, I did put a, a wood wall there. Regular. Cool. Alright, that should more or less work. Um, Blocks it off. I like seeing the fire. Grab that wood. Get fell out. Half wall. There. Okay. And now we can easily slip into the fire if we just kind of sleepwalk our way in. Perfect. No, I think um, if I remember right, they make like a little fence or something. Forget. But we will try to block that off at some point. For now, looking pretty good. So now we just need to finish off this roof, which I don't have any plans about. We could, so we do have a, a middle this time. So if I stretched it up. What we probably need to do is another corner. That doesn't make like a ton of sense. Oh, I guess it does. Um, and then we'll just bring those out. It's kind of cool when you do it with, you know, zero planning whatsoever. It's more authentic. I'm just kidding, because, I, you know, you should absolutely plan your builds out. Why is that one red? These should be fine. They should all be like stacking on each other. We will need to do something here. That part's going to be exposed. I guess it is just hanging a bit. Like, that's probably why it's red. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Got it. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so we want one more out here. I think. Connect there. Might look a little better. Cool. Oh yeah, I think actually we will just slide it on through. That'll be fine. The smoke shouldn't be stopped or anything. Does that mean this one can be a corner piece? Yeah. Alright, and then we just finish it up with one of these. Should be able to. Do we need to... Oh, do we need to... We might need to put, like, beams down the center or something. Maybe. Not sure if that's how it works. Too long. Why is that different? Ooh. Or do we need 
need just one of these. We might have to get back up there. Let's uh let's take a little sleep. Cause it's about to be nighttime. I'd like to try to get this roof finished before we end the episode. Although this one is a short episode, I think we've got a lot of time left. Come on. Come on. There we go. Up and up and up. Okay. So. Um, I forget. I think. I think it's this one that we want. Yeah, that looks good. Two, three. That feels awful. Try again. It's doing that because of the beam below. Or not, uh, it's just getting kind of whack. Yeah, it looks better now. Okay, now we just have uh these two, which I think for these two we could probably bring it up like this, right? Oh, okay, world save. Okay, not the cleanest house in the world, but definitely suitable. Very suitable. I'm happy with it. All right, cool. Uh, we still have to kind of make our porch area. I think next up is just prepping for. Actually, can I come down here? Build it on like the foundation level. If I could just get it a little lower, it would be sweet. Oh, what have I done? Is that facing the railing? So, pick stuff up. Hey, I mean, obviously we have a lot to go. We gotta make, you know, lighting. There's gotta be a lighting situation. Can we do that now? Yes. Standing wood torch. Feels good ourselves a little nightlight. Oh, we don't have any resin left. Let's try to grab as much stuff as we can, too. Always be clicking the wrong button. management also make like kind of a shelf system I think for these chests I don't really like just having them out but you know future stuff let's just put all this stuff back I like to try to keep them separated so we do like trophies in one one side um and then sort of just resources in this one. I know it's it's not the bestly sorted right now, but we'll get to it. Actually, we need the resin for a second. We're going to keep the deer as well. Feathers. Meat. Okay. I'd like to try to keep my inventory sorted as well. So... We have armor along the top, food in this little lower left corner. We'll have like arrows here, although I might end up moving the arrows like close to the armor. Um, and then sort of like a resource area. Keep your inventory managed and then you can quickly sort through stuff. Is it still? It's nighttime. Let's just take a quick sleep. Get it back to day so we can see easier. Alright, 
Sweet. Oh, we should have. Oops. Should have put down the ear rug before we slept, but it's all good. We should still be able to get the benefits of it. We'll put down that one, and we're going to put one down as we come in. So that should increase the comfort level. Yeah, see, now we have five instead of what we had before, which is four. Um, as far as I know, they don't really come with, like, stats. Like, I can't see how much comfort this would give. Also, let's light up this area. And this area. Cool. Maybe even here. A lot of torches, but this is a, kind of a big space. We don't have as much natural light in here as I was hoping for. With the window situation. Ooh. Hey, don't look at the roof, okay? Looks fine. I said don't look at the roof. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, it doesn't look half bad. You know, as soon as we... <laughs> as soon as we get the windows worked out, it's going to look really good. Right now it's, you know... Um, Count of Monte Cristo prison cell, but it's going to look really good. It's going to look really good. <laughs> so anyway, we need to start planning for Ekthir. Um So in order to do that, we're going to need food that's gonna be a really big one so let's get cooking stations into the fire pit this is gonna be tricky too I would much rather have like a dedicated fire pit let's go get some stone real quick uh, yeah no it's it's fine for now let's just let's grab some stone real fast I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding stone. Usually I have more of it than I know what to do with. Two. I'm like legitimately out of stone right now too. Hey, get out, get out of here. There's like cool lore on the graylings too. They're like... Oh, they used to be people. I don't know the whole story, but I think they were like bad people or something. And this is sort of like their punishment world. But I, I'm not really sure. I just know that they were at one time people. Alright, so there's three and four. Just need one more. Try not to jostle the camera too much. Kind of hard when you're looking for stuff. Get a little fire from the hip sort of feel. Okay. I do hear deer. I have six arrows. I'd love to sag myself a deer. Oh, there they are. So we're going to go ahead and sneak. Oh, catch me. Where did the grayling? I think the grayling caught me. Probably shouldn't be wasting my arrow on this dude. Resin. A necktail? No necktail? Oh, there it is. Oh, there was another deer. Tough. There was. Oh, there were so many of them. This is a terrible shot. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Okay. Um, berries too. Easy to get sidetracked when you go out exploring in the, in the woods. We have five rocks. We have five rocks, so let's get back. Some flint down there. I don't remember like how much flint we're gonna need. Just remember, it, it is important. All right, we're gonna put a little campfire out here. I know it's super, it's like uncovered right now and everything. Um, but 
but this is strictly for cooking. So we are going to make as many of these things. As we can. Next to it. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. No more cookable items. They're all in here, I guess. Cool. Now, hopefully, I can grab all that before it burns. Should be alright, as long as I kind of keep an eye on it. Cooked deer meat. Now, you know, I was just talking about how it doesn't really show you the comfort, but food, it does show you stats on, which is super nice. Um, so you can mix and match appropriately. Cooking uh, eight things at a time, it's really nice should be able to clear out of this inventory real fast. I'm going to just put the meat over here for now. At least this one. I really don't want any charcoal right now. That's what happens when meat gets burned. It turns into charcoal. Which, you know, it's in heavy demand late game or mid game but in the early game I do not want it I also think these you know deer meats kind of look like meat pops what you think kind of look like frozen meat pops all right out of cookable items That's good like here they look a little bit more like you know meat and bone still have kind of that popsicle feel but when they're uncooked they just really remind me like frozen popsicles pretty gross oh 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 okay, got him sweet okay so that's all the cooked food um perfect let's just make one more box and we'll call this like oh out of wood. Fine. We'll take this stuff out. We'll put it in here. Alright, so this is like <clears throat> the Actheer box. We also are going to need your trophies for it. I don't remember how many. Um, put some more food in here. So the neck meat, 25 health, 8 stamina. Deer meat, 35 health, 12 stamina. And then the boar meat's 30 and 10. So obviously the deer meat is um, the best. So we'll keep all that for that theory. I'll just keep the neck tail in here for, for now. Probably won't use it for that though. Next up we need to be looking at armor and weapons. Um, armor obviously important for obvious reasons. Uh, we're going to need lots of arrows. Um, and then also... What we can do as well is we can make these little workbench improvements. I think that's actually going to be really important. Let's get these workbench improvements. So we need 10 wood and 20 wood. We have the... What was that? It was... 20 leather scraps and 5 deer hide. I think we've got that. We've got 3 deer hide, but then we can remove one of these. Oh, uh, five? Definitely thought we had more. Okay, well, we'll just start with the one. Grab some wood. Ten. Uh, wood, and... Oh, that's going to be a hard tree to chop. I, uh, I kind of like the look of this tree, too. I might, might just leave it. Let's get rid of some of these stumps. They're harder to cut down. They're just kind of annoying to cut. And they don't give you basically any wood. I also don't want to cut these. I want to kind of wait for them to grow. But stumps really annoy me. 
I don't like having them around. Same with these rocks, and we're gonna get rid of these rocks eventually. But the stumps to me, they can get out of here. We just need the 10 wood. We've got it. I'll just chop down this one real quick. All right. So now we need 10 flint. I think that's what I remember we need the flint for is like all these little upgrades. We'll split this one. We only need eight. There. And then we should be able to build this chopping block. So you can see those little dots mean it's working but then as soon as it gets too far you know it's not gonna build there so we'll just kind of put it out here and now we have more uh recipes including tun uh leather pants and tunic helmet um, we also have the fire arrow and the flint head arrow another reason why flint's gonna be really really awesome at least flint arrows are um much better than the wood arrow i mean much is relative uh, deer hide cape is not going to be as necessary for us. It just gives us one armor um, compared to... Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I'm not remembering my numbers right, but that does seem relevant. So, we're going to need tons and tons of deer. Also, a spear would be nice. Yeah, so this really opens it up and lets us know, like, what's our path moving forward. Um, I'm going to probably come up with a list of what we need to be aiming for. But for now, let's just come up with resources. Um, we need deer. We need boar. We need... Oh, there's deer already. I've only got three arrows. But we can sneak our way over there. Deer hunting is like really fun, but at the same time really tedious and boring. <laughs> um, this is another part I could probably just like speed up or maybe even do off camera. Um, if you guys let me know, if you like watching this stuff. Let me know in the comments and I will either keep it up or, you know, carry us on to the kind of more interesting parts. But then you guys wouldn't be able to see how good of a shot I am. Look at this. Nice. <clears throat> okay, cool. So that already gave us um, just two deer hide. It's going to be a long journey to get the amount of deer leather we're going to need. We're also just going to need wood. Probably shouldn't be taking down bushes like that. But... Ah, okay, so here's a really cool... Well, I mean, we already knew this was here, but like this has so much wood in it. All these little houses. This is my last arrow. Something's got its eyes on me. I don't know what it is. That grayling. Nope, last arrow. either <clears throat> oh wait yes we can <coughs> we just need a you know you come in one of these these already have roofs <coughs> so 
picture too exposed. All right, that's fine. We'll just go to the next one. Look at this. Absolutely not too exposed, right? Yeah. Okay, so we just need some wood arrows real quick. We'll just make, uh, or we'll get some wood from here. Can't get rid of the beds. Well, I mean, I can. I just have to wood chop them down. So because of the uh, crafting station's there, I can just start disassembling everything. Over here, what is this? Like an happy, happy here, right? It's gonna be a nice amount of wood. Make some arrows with all that. And it's like a good amount of arrows, too. Really nice. Yeah, that should tie us over for like a long time. Or at least, you know, a while. Get rid of that. The deer still there? Yes. Wait until they kind of come into view. And we'll crouch down. He heard me. This one didn't. That one, now it did. Ah. They were so out in the open before. So I need the leather scraps. Cool. Also, you know, just exploring the map, which is always good. The music in this game is so good. Hopefully you guys can hear it a little bit better. Um, in fact, I am going to turn it up just a bit. Hopefully you guys can hear it. I, I know it's, I, I like to keep it kind of quiet in the background. Um, but you know, it's good enough to be at the forefront for sure. It is becoming nighttime too. Okay. So I think I'm gonna start heading back. Hopefully we can catch some stuff on the way. In. Make sure you guys leave a comment too for every stone I miss, every branch I didn't pick up. Oh, well, here we go. What do you got? Calling forth the beast. Oh, this is Ekdir. Um. I didn't really catch what he said, but basically, you just put um, the offering on the table, and he'll <coughs> he'll show up. So we got him on the map. And it says hunt his kin. So that's kind of the hint. Um, and we know from... Come on. Yeah, I know. Oh, you really missed. Ah. 
Um, oh, yes. Quadra kill. Um, we know from the starting area where they first drop you in, the stone that display all the bosses, we know he's a... What's the word? A deer. Sorry. I am losing it. A buck, even. A stag. So, basically we need to put the trophies of his kin um, on that little table, which we've got a, a bunch already. Um, I'm heading the wrong way, too. are valuable. I'd like to hurry. I'd like to try to sleep. I want to eat more food. Hopefully, yep, not going the right way. should be lots of stones on these cliffs, actually. That's where I should be looking for these. Look at this. Yeah. Here. No! bird here too. We need feathers. More important to get the deer though. Got him. He got trapped. Nope. Super missed. Uh, the feathers are great for arrows. That's like primarily what I'm going to be using them for. Oh, there's another one. I don't think I can hit this from this angle. Got it. All right, cool. Well, um, we're going to head inside. We're going to take a little sleep, and I think that's where we're going to call it for this episode. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you did like the com the content. Um, and yeah, any, uh, any feedback or anything like that is always great as well. Appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks. We'll see you next time.